Alright, hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, last we left off, we had just literally clicked the button to go to war with England for our reconquest war. The reconquest of the French lands that rightfully belong to us and hopefully we should be able to get them for the cheap now that we're, uh, we're in charge of the war and the reasons for war and such. Kind of uh, maybe just take a second here to review what's going on. I know we just literally started the war. It looks like I'm pretty sure we moved our troops in, but it didn't quite save what we had done. So let's do that. And then I think we also are at war. Okay, so we are we're gonna be at war with Brittany, but we haven't actually unpaused the game and let it tick for one day. So it'll take a day for the allies to join. And then Portugal, that's right. And I believe Castile is in here as well, but again, it'll take a day for them to show up here. Okay. Uh, looks like we're building a spy network in Burgundy. We could potentially uh, make a claim there on one of these provinces. I don't know if there's one that looks particularly really good here. Funny thing is we could claim something like Holland using the spy network because Holland is underneath Burgundy. Another interesting thing I'm noticing is there's some liberty desire here. So so these nations, again, they're not really, uh, they're not part of Germany permanently. They are other nations that are ultimately trying to do what's best for them. So in this case, Holland actually has some liberty desire for um, against Burgundy. So Burgundy has to maintain um, that personal union. If, if they get enough liberty desire, they will uh, they will want to declare war for their independence. So 29% is definitely within control, but uh, the funny thing is what you can do is you can ally these guys. I mean, we can't do that now, obviously, because we're at war and such, but, but potentially, I mean, we could even ally Holland and try to get them to break free so that they are... Uh, so Burgundy's weaker and such like that. A lot of things could happen here, but let's just uh, let's just get a nice easy claim on. I'm not too worried. Be be good to get something up here, connect up to uh, Calais because we might be taking this province in the war. And Picardy, actually, I believe there is an event or a mission or something that will actually let us uh, get something on this for free. We don't need to uh, spend extra there. What are we doing with this? Other? We're uh, making Venice happy. Why did we want to do that? I'm not sure. Did we actually want to ally Venice? We did notice that they're doing pretty well over here. They're well to do. They're taking a lot of extra land. They're getting, they're getting to be quite, uh, quite more powerful, that's for sure. All right, so back to the war here. So we got uh, the diplomats are sort of sorted. Um, they're doing stuff. We're at war, you can invest in new technology. All right, so we can click on that tab. It takes this technology screen. And it looks like, yeah, we can uh, we can get the administrative technology. What was the... Okay, we ended up going aristocratic ideas. Okay. It looks like the next point here... We're actually going to be getting 33% more national manpower. That's huge. That That's huge. So 50,000 is going to turn into, you know, 63,000 or so. So it's going to be, that's going to be monsters. So we're ahead of time on military. So it's going to be a, a good while before we do that. We might as well just hit this button here. It says that we're also going to get some innovation because I guess we're, we're really ahead of the time on that. It looks like, okay, something has popped up here, but let's keep going along. Hey, okay, rebels, potential rebels. Um, okay, these rebels here. These rebels here. But we still have a rebel here, even though we, uh, we've reduced the, um, that's right, we increased the autonomy, which lowered the unrest. Of 
we're still going to have a rebellion here eventually. But I think what did we do? We we just prevented it from happening anytime soon. Yeah, it's going to be seven years. This war with England should be over in seven years. This is going to say take 18. This is going to take 833 years, aka that's not that's never going to happen. <laughs> and 60 years for this one. Okay, so those are going to those are going to be going away. That's not a problem. What is this? Get a little extra missionary strength, national tax modifier. Hey, we could hit this. We could hit this. It increases um, the reform desire by 0.1%. We haven't really talked about that. But basically, when this number gets to, I don't know if it has to be at 100%, but this number is growing. So the desire for people to reform the religion, the Catholic religion, is growing. And eventually there's going to become a time when people uh, form the Protestant religion and the Reformed religion. And that's going to divide Europe. We talked about that in episode one. So we're building towards that historically. This apparently is going to increase the desire for reform and speed that up. I don't think we really care about that. So let's hit that button and, um, and get that extra 2% tax modifier. Yeah, why not? We're making a little bit of money, just a little bit. Enough to potentially hire someone, but not enough to hire one of these expensive advisors here. Plus, I don't know if we really need the Diplo. We're actually a little behind on the Diplo technology, but we're making six a month. That should be good. That should be good. So we can kind of ignore that for now. We have truces with uh, Brittany, but again, we're about to go to war with them. We have truces with Scotland, apparently. For quite a few years so so we got truces we know that i don't think we have enough money right now to be building stuff we just built a bunch of stuff i don't know has it been has it all been constructed yeah it looks like our churches have been built here see in the build screen so that's probably where a lot of additional income is coming from the fact that we built a lot of uh, new buildings that should be boosting our our ability to earn money from our provinces Wow, Ferrero's got like... Wow, Ferrero's at minus 60 prestige. So there's a good chance that Ferrera Or Ferrara... That's... Okay, that's here. Something could potentially happen. No legal heir. And their ruler is 54 years old. So this, again, this is just the disputed succession, right? Potentially, if we royal married here... Um... There could be a situation where we could maybe get a PU on Ferrara. Austria. It's funny that Austria is actually in this situation. That's uh, it's not good for Austria, but the 27 years old, they'll figure it out. And we can call in allies. Now, I believe they're already getting called in. Are they not? Okay, if they're not, we're going to have to make sure they get called in at the moment this, this starts here. So, okay. So we have these troops moving into there. Let's un Let's let one day tick here. I was going to say, yes. Okay, good. The call uh, allies thing has uh, has disappeared. But let's say, Castile, your job is to go get... Um, is to get Portugal out of the war. That's your job. Get Portugal out of the war. Technically, is this a fort? No. Not a fort. It'd be nice if uh, Morocco took advantage of this, but... Okay, so let's go, because we, we, we're assuming there's going to be Brittany troops here. Here, this is a tricky situation. We can click on London. We can kind of see, okay, garrison of 3,000. It's a level 3 fort. It's a level 3 fort. So I believe... I don't know if there's a way this will tell us. But I believe we're going to need 9,000 troops on this fort. So either way, yeah, let's just... Let's just split the forces here. In some sort of semi-intelligent formation. Okay, we have our good leader there. Yeah, this is this is tricky. We might need to roll for leaders here, but we have no military power. Now, one of the things, of course, we can do is we can make our ruler a leader. But our heir is not of age yet, so it'd be really bummer for the uh, for our ruler to die. While our heir can't take the throne, and then I, I'm not sure exactly what would happen. Maybe it would just be, maybe just the queen would take control. And actually, the queen looks 
And she's got a nice ability there that reduces the uh, reduces the cost of advisors. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, we risk we risk uh, our leader dying if we make him a military general. If we put him in the field of battle, there's a chance that he can die. Chance that he can die. So I don't know if we want to take that risk. Let's just get let's get fourteen thousand troops here. I believe we've determined that we should have more. Yes, we have more troops than England on. Um, here, like on the British Isles, we have more troops actually here than England has in, in total. And then I think what we want is we want the Papal State to come take care of this. Oh, Navarra's in play. Navarra, I don't know if you're going to be able to do much, but if you want to come down here, Navarra, you can do that. But it's it's kind of up to the AI to determine if they think that's a good plan or not. That's the thing. Oh, this, this actually could be really annoying. Are they going to go for the 1,000? No. Yes. No. What are they doing? Brittany, what are you doing? This is not what I wanted. We need to really pay attention to the troops up here, too. Okay, we are going to fight them here. Grasslands, we're not going to get any penal uh, penalty. We can check the maneuverability of the leader. It's a one maneuverable, or one maneuver leader. We have... One as well. Okay, so we are going to probably get a river crossing, literally because I just see a river here that we're about to cross. We have so many more troops. They do have a, a six-shock leader, though. The Papal State... What we need to do, though, is we really do need to just sort of clear out. Um, good job, Papal State. Papal State's listening. Uh, whoops. So Portugal's actually evaded us a bit here. Aragon's no longer a great power. So Portugal has sort of uh, snuck around us here. What kind of leader do they have? A 4-2-1. We have a better leader than them. So, okay, we are going to get Portugal out of the war eventually. I'm not sure, honestly, whether we care about Portugal or not. 9,000 troops just isn't much. We might just... Let's just make sure... We might just kind of, like, race them here. Siege race, race them. And uh, just kind of clear out... Brittany and get Brittany out of the war quick. We're actually making money during war. That's good. And we're just sort of like using this one sack to, to siege down the non... Um, not non-fort protected areas. I don't know why that's almost like looking like that's fort... Okay, I was going to say, why is that saying it's fort protected? And we could just take that said for it. We have lost 1,000 troops. We could build that 1,000 troop back. We have enough manpower. Let's just do it. Let's just get another 1,000 troops here. Okay, Portugal is getting sieged pretty well. And of course, once they're full sieged, then it'll be easy mode. Unfortunately, Castile is dealing with a sort of an internal threat here. This is a little spooky. This is a little spooky because, I mean, England has, you know. Almost 30,000 troops. Whoa. Okay, the entire... Wait, how is Aragon fighting? Aragon is fighting Portugal. Oh. I forgot we have Aragon's troops too. We have Aragon's troops too. Aragon, come take this. I just realized something. Does Castile think this is their land? No. 
No, that's not Castile. That's uh, Armin Knack. Gotcha. And Gascony. Okay. Never mind. So yeah, we could have Aragon take this because I don't think they should. Oops, I'm going on the wrong screen here. So uh, down here is what I'm doing is I'm setting an objective for this province and I'm saying, okay, Aragon, that's your objective. That's your objective. Now again, the AI, nine times out of ten, are not going to uh, to abide by that. Okay, we do have a fight here. I'm so tempted. We have enough to roll a general. I think we try. Not good. Not good. The only good news is, honestly, England's leader's not good either. He's locked in. I, I'm not seeing how England thinks they're going to win this. Ah, uh, this could be really bad. We lose this battle. It's it's like we're done -zo here. We got a... England came in with a better leader. I have no idea what just happened there, but they got trounced. I really don't know what just happened there, but that was... We just like... Something happened. It must have been a huge roll. We must have got a big roll or something. They just got smashed. Wow. Austria's doing work in the HRE. Getting stuff done. So what happens is forts will actually re- like automatically forts exert like an aura. So what's happened is we did just siege this, but this fort here, because we didn't have any troops on it, the fort actually captured that back, and I forgot about that, so that was me being kind of, uh, kind of dumb. Uh, Aragon, please. Oh, no. Castile, where are your troops? There. Can you guys get up here where it's more relevant? That'd be great. So no matter what, we're going to lose the stability here. We can support the clergy or we can support the philosopher. Actually, this is actually looking kind of decent here because we don't need missionary strength. We're all, like, everything's Catholic. We're not even using our missionary. We'd like the... We would like the additional decrease in technology cost. That's only a temporary thing. So by the time we need the missionary strength, we'll be, it'll be long gone and it'll be fine. Yeah, we need some of these sieges to, to go here. We need London. That's a big one. We need Calais. We need London. We need Brittany. We need this one not to happen. Great. Okay, okay. It looks like... Here we go. Naples is finally getting here to the party. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, good, 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 good. Aragon's coming in to fight this. As long as they don't lose the battle. That'll be good. Nice, good job. Good job, Pope. Okay, so let's go here. Let's tell the Pope to come over here now. And it looks like they might be following our, uh, our our wishes there. Okay, this is the nice thing is once we get this done, we can move John Bro up here, and uh, hopefully have a better leader up here. Because right now we got a very weak leader, and I think the fact that we won that battle as decisively as we did was kind of just lucky. It was very very lucky. London is just farmlands though. Okay, we need we need this over here. We need this siege done. Nice, we get some diplomat from. Queen's doing some some work and some stuff done there. Once uh, Lisboa is sieged, Portugal probably won't want to be in the war, and that's going to be it's going to be huge. It's going to allow us to all focus on England together. Technically, this little guy up here is in the war as well, but I'm not. I don't suspect he's going to be relevant.
What's our army professionalism at? I mean, 7,000 manpower is a big deal. We're at 14% army professionalism. We're definitely getting some benefits for that. Uh, we have a good amount of manpower, but uh, that hurts. That really does hurt. So let's teleport uh, John Bro up here. Get him doing this, working on the siege. In fact, once he gets there, okay, this is this is kind of unfortunate here. We gotta, we might need to just clump everybody up and just eat the attrition because. Okay, good. It kept the right guy here. We're getting thirty-five percent. I think we're doing okay here. We need to come down here though. Oh, what the Ottomans? Ottoman troops deep into Europe. What's going on here? They still finding Venice? Okay. I wonder how that's going. Venice has troops. Ottomans don't have too many troops over here. Is Genoa in the war as well? Hmm. Weird. Interesting. We need London. Nice. Okay, so let's uh, let's start moving and grooving here. When these people get locked to move away, we should move in. Ideally, these people would get locked to move into here. Oh, we goofed. We goofed on that. We goofed on that. They're moving away, though. They're gone. We're going to catch this group. This is, unfortunately, not the best fight in the world. It's also woods. and we're... Did, we just... Did we just goof? Or are we too strong? Or is the French too powerful? French are pretty powerful, that's for sure. We're definitely winning this one. We're getting battered here. Hmm. I mean, that should just end. There we go, I was going to say. And we could try to chase them. There's a fort here, but it looks like they're moving away from the forts. We could we could chase them just for a second here. Are they actually going... Oh, they're going north. And eh, it's kind of tricky. Do we chase them or not? We're going to be eating a lot of attrition. Oh, 17,000 supply limit. That is not good. Let's just do a little bit of siege in here. And maybe I messed up. Maybe they're going over here and we should have we should have pursued. Yeah. That would be great. Is if we could actually get okay, we got a lot of spy network on Burgundy, so let's make sure that we're getting these claims made before they detect us, because eventually they'll, they'll they'll detect that we're here. Eventually. You know what, the last one, maybe we do just get the claim on, uh... Check the trade map mode. There's one for Amsterdam. Center of trade. Maybe we just grab that. I mean, you know, why not? Never know what could happen, what kind of opportunity could present itself. I think they retreated over to here. We gotta be careful. I mean, Venice, Castile, you'd think our fleet would be doing pretty pretty well, but I don't know. No, our fleet's actually much weaker. These galleys are, are meant to fight. The galleys get a 100% combat bonus in the inland seas, like the Mediterranean and the Baltic. But, um... Out in the in the open oceans, not great. I, I don't know if Irish Sea would that count as an inland sea. I doubt it. No, it's saying this is an inland sea. It's telling us explicitly none of this counts. England is going to try to sneak up on us here. There's no doubt about it. 
We could try to take these provinces here just to have like a little bit of forewarning that they're on the way, but it's kind of playing with fire right now. Now, who are we going to need to make happy here? Scotland already likes it. We can make it so they like us even more. Allying Scotland might not be too bad at this point. It's unfortunate that Denmark hates us. The funny thing is, though, they don't really hate us, do they? Make Savoy like us, just in case we need to do something there. That's what I was talking about. Here's these guys, so let's, let's immediately just back up, because they're already looking to uh, do something that we don't like. And these these larger forts are uh, kind of annoying. Okay, so Brittany's fully sieged here. Kind of wondering if we just get Brittany out of it. Actually, what would getting Portugal out of it do for us? Let's wait till the uh, the last Lisboa goes down here. Minus 71%. Yeah, good luck with that, England. Good luck with that. It's a bit of a siege race here. We could check on England's manpower, right? Because the manpower is what's their ability to replenish their armies after a hard-fought battle. We're only at 22,000. That's not great. They're at 10,000, though. And we just have a lot more troops. Of course, some of our troops are still up down here. Money supply limit. Let's just group up here. Rebellion, eh? I thought that was supposed to take years. I thought this was supposed to take years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If no leader here, this is farmlands. We could try to we could try to make a move. But the thing is, where is the rest of England's army? Where's the rest of England's army? There they are. They're right there. That's just... Yeah. This is tricky. They might try to bait into us with an attack. The supply limit here is very small, so we don't want to group up our entire army here. For a long period of time. I mean, we're not going to lose the war because we just put a bunch of troops here. But it's just going to cost a lot of manpower to do it. A lot of attrition. Nice if these sieges just ended here. Nice. There we go. Okay, so we can get these guys up here moving and grooving. I don't know. Maybe... Liz okay. Portugal. We could get Portugal out of the war. We're going to need a diplomat to make these deals. But Portugal, we definitely don't want any land here. Plus, we couldn't actually take any because Castile sieged this all for themselves. Castile actually has no allies. They broke the alliance with England, which is weird. You don't usually see the AI doing something like that. Steer trade. I'm wondering, can they even steer trade to us even if they wanted to? No, they can't trade. Again, they can't steer up the Champagne. They can't steer. Um, the only way they can steer out of here is to steer it to Genoa. So that would have, no, that's just not going to be good. We can just take their money and take their war reps, so they'll be paying us 10%. Sure. Let's get them out of the war so that our allies are less distracted by that. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. We lost John Burrow? He died in that last battle. Uh, We're in trouble here. We're in deep trouble here. We need, like, fire is the most important. It's like uh, early in the game. It's the phase that does the most damage. 
So there's a fire phase, then there's a shock phase. Did I say fire? I meant shock. We kind of need to roll here and just hope for some shock. And this is better than nothing. But it's not good. It looks good because there's a lot of fire there. I don't know. We've been winning. This is also hills, so we're also going to get a minus one. This is not a good fight, but here we go. We've done something similar to this before in the past. We always win. We always win these battles, but it would have been nice if we had uh, our, our siege leader here, but he has unfortunately... I think he's full-on passed away at this point. I think he's gone. He's retired or something. Not good. The truth is, we're not actually going to want to take any land. Let's just pursue for a little bit. If they go to different areas, let's just kind of see what's going on up here. So England has... 21,000, basically 20,000 troops, right? We have a pretty healthy, you know, 17 to 18,000. We have a leader that's inferior, and we'd be fighting in the marsh. I don't think we want to fight that. They have low morale, that's the only benefit to this. Again, we could wait and see if they go to two different places. No, they're going to the same spot. Oh, but if they get locked in there, oh man, farmlands. I'm I'm slightly tempted here. I think what we try to do is we try to catch the back group. So if they get locked in to go there, we try to catch this group here. That's not gonna work. Twenty third. Oh, we got him. Yeah, I think we got him. I think we got this small group with no leader. It's a big win. It's a big win. That's huge. Those troops are gone. So they deserted. They had really low morale. Okay, this is this is popping up because we haven't waited a day to move. Yeah. So now we can go and try to fight those other troops, even though they have a leader. And we got the siege up here. We can actually reinforce. <laughs> They're just going around and around with us. We could try to intercept here. The York is farmlands. I think we got him. No, we didn't. Fast. Too fast. This is all. This is grasslands. Let's just go into here. We're gonna have a. It's not gonna be a super good fight initially because. Yeah, we're gonna have to hold until our other troops get here and reinforce. Oh, but they're all gone. They're all gone. England is defeated. Okay, everybody, we are going to be taking a pause in the episode. We're going to sort of finish carpet sieging England at this point. I think for the most part, this is their last fort. Um, and then we're going to figure out what we're going to take. Figure out how we're going to end this deal. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks again, everybody.